<clears throat> Hi. Hi. I see you there. Don't mind me while I fix my bun. Hi, Aunt Jen. <laughs> How are you doing, Doby Mama? It's nice to see you. I have, just a disclaimer, I have a chicken in the oven, so I have to check that in a few minutes. Oh, my hair is driving me crazy. Hello. Hello. So tonight I'm going to do some free readings, and then um, you can see my coupon code for booking. It's 25% off on my website. And hopefully I get my bun up. I get too hot when I read, and so I have to keep my hair up. Have all the windows and doors open. Um, oh, I'm so happy that you're healing. That makes me so happy. Hi, Elizabeth Q. With the hearts. You're welcome, Melissa. Miss Inglis. First, uh, if you want a reading, I have a couple of people I'm waiting for specifically that are going to pop on here um, that I'm supposed to give a reading. We'll see if they come. Um, if you want a reading, when I do these free readings, I would like the first name of your loved one and their relationship to you. Um, so if you give me that. I am waiting for a couple of people. Hi from Scotland. Hi, I'm in California. <clears throat> Hi, Ashley. There's Ashley. I've been waiting for you to join. It's so nice to see you. Okay, so I'm going to give Ashley a reading. A real quick, um, I do these quick ones. I know Ashley's looking to talk to her mother. So just be patient and don't spam or anything while I'm doing this. Um, let me see. Ashley, I made you a video specifically for you earlier from your mom. So I will tell you um, what she said and you'll see the video in the next couple of days. It's not posted yet. But she's proud of your autonomy and independence and how much you've accomplished um, even though she's passed and she knows how hard this is going to be um, coming up the holiday season. I know you're in the UK. Um, so uh, we just celebrated Thanksgiving here in the US yesterday, uh, which kick officially kicks off our holiday season, but <clears throat> you guys have a little different um, situation over there. But she wants you to, um, she's talking about going by the water. Do you have a place where you can go by the water? Um, or um, would you understand why what she, why she would say that? Because um, I think you live in a, on a farm. So she's talking about going to the water to help find peace. So Ashley, if you could tell me in the comments and caps, Yes or no, you do, you do or you don't understand the water. Okay, so I'm just kind of scrolling through. You know, on these lives, last time I was getting spammed and I couldn't even see the person spamming me. Um, and some other person told me because I don't think all the comments come through, so I don't know. Um, anyway, if you want a reading, a full reading, individual reading, you can go online and um, peacefulnickthemedium.com peace 2021 gives a 25 percent discount so it'll ask you once you go in um, you have to find it's kind of indiscreet actually i checked it today you have to put coupon code you have to click the button okay so let me see if ashley answered okay no water okay because she's really talking about <clears throat> the water Um, give me just a second, everyone. Let's see why she's talking about that. 
is there is there something happening with your irrigation or your water source where you are on your farm? Something she's she won't stop. It's all she wants to talk about is the water. So let me know yes or no on the on irrigation or um, or the water source for your farm. Okay. And I'm still looking for someone else, but I can't see she was supposed to come on. Just give me two seconds. Be patient. Hmm. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. For some reason, Ashley, I thought you were on a farm, but that's right. I remember you telling me about the graveyard and it has the water problem. Okay, so, all right, that makes sense because she's talking about the water. Um, that's just acknowledging that I'm talking to her and not just saying random stuff and know that she just keeps talking about how proud she is and she's showing you're moving more independently, um, much more independently in a way you never thought you would. So you're doing things you didn't think you could do. And she's very happy about that. Let me know if that makes sense. I don't know why I had a farm in my head, but that, that's what it was. Okay, so um, please don't repeatedly type the same thing over and over and over because it clogs up the chat and it's not fair. And uh, these are pretty random when I pick them. I, when I pick the people, it's usually because I, as soon as I read it, I get a message right away. So it's, I can't guarantee that I'll get to everybody. And again, I'm going to have to check my chicken in a few minutes, so. All right, let's see. I don't see the other person who I'm supposed to. Uh. Okay, Ashley, very good. Good, good, good. Sending you love, sweetheart. Sending you lots of love. Ashley's, uh, she and I communicate a bit on here. And I'm very happy. Um, if you're my friend from Instagram and you're on here, if you know, you'll know if you know, if you know, um, give me all caps and say hi from Instagram or IG because I'm not seeing your name because I'm expecting someone to come in from there. All right. So next person. All right. You're welcome, Melissa. Scotland. Okay, I have to go back through these. Um, Melissa C. 1982. Rocco and Don, my parents. So, um, I, I feel they went together or close together like either at the same time or not that far apart in time. If you're still on here, Melissa, say uh, yes, close together, no, cl close together, parents in caps. So I remember, because um, I'll start doing these and then I forget what I said to who. Thank you for the follows and the likes. I hope everyone had a decent holiday yesterday. Um, holidays can be super challenging because we have to deal with family that we don't always want to deal with um, or see. Let me see. Hi, crazy for shepherd lady. 
I didn't, I don't think she's on here. Still. Oh, yes, close together, my parents. Good, good, good. Thank you, Melissa. Okay. Because they're showing me boom, boom, one, two, and it was almost like you're an orphan. You felt like an orphan, and you felt like you had no true um, guidance or way. Um, it's like you felt lost. But somewhere in your mind, you could feel it was like you were um, lost in one way, but found in another. You were empty, but you were also almost, there was a part of your mind that was at peace. Does that make sense? Like it was like awful, terrible pain, trauma, but there was something in you that was secure and peaceful and felt everything was gonna be okay. Let me know, Melissa, if that makes sense for you. And I have no comments loading. So. Let me see. Um, if anybody is looking for um, guidance and coaching, um, meditation teacher, follow Aunt Jen 003. She's a wonderful teacher. She's been teaching me for decades. Um, she's helped me through many, 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 many things in my life um, for over 30 years. So follow her and um, she offers all kinds of classes and courses. And thank you, I won't forget my chicken. Yeah, okay, Melissa, I understand that you still feel lost, but is there some, they're showing me that you can feel, it's like you can feel them, like you know they're there, um, guiding you. It's a weird feeling I'm getting, like there's all this awful pain and stuff, but then there's this other part that you're like, okay, it's gonna be okay. Yes, and they are at peace. I'm not hardly getting any new comments. Let's see. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> That's funny. She sounded chicken. Let's see. <laughs> Tur oh, those, those are turkeys. Thank you. That's funny. Oh, wow, that's interesting. That's interesting um, that you don't feel your mom. That happens um, a lot. Because there's a, there's a variety of reasons. One, it could be either you were closer to her and you have a block or you had some unresolved issues from her. Um, there's several reasons. Hi, Otis Riles. Hi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm Peaceful Nick the Medium. I'm doing some free readings. If you want a full paid reading, uh, you can go to my website and book a reading. The coupon code for 25% off is Peace2021. James Trudeau, crazy for Shepherd Lady. Didn't we talk about James Trudeau? Oh, okay, Melissa, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, Billy Kessler, what is your relationship to the person? Is the person's name Billy? Or is that you? Nana Nettie, who's Tommy? Is that a grandson? A, a partner? Hi, Maggie Kitty, live for life. Yes, we did. All right, let's see. Let's see, Mama Opal. Hey, Lacey, this is for you. Oh, thank you for Crazy Shepherd Lady. She's a book of reading, she is great. Thank you. Um, all right, so going to 
Hi, Hearth Witchery. Very nice to see you. Where'd you, where'd you go? Okay, Lacey for Mama Opal. Um, when I read Mama Opal, I got this strong, strong, strong matriarch. Um, Lacey, if you're still here, yes or no, Mama Opal was a strong matriarch. Give me caps, because that's what I got. Uh, Grammy K, your daughter passed suddenly a year ago. She probably is trying to tell you something. They're trying to talk to us all the time. Um, so, okay, Lacey, I'll be right back. They, so if you quiet your mind, you can learn to meditate. You can go on YouTube and look up free meditation, sitting in the power um, for lost loved ones. And you can learn to listen for them. So you can ask her for signs. Um, you can quiet your mind and listen if you're in the shower, in the bath, and you can hear them and you can determine between what's your mind saying and what are they saying. So yes, you can ask. All right, Lacey, Mama Opal. Boy, she's, uh, she's, uh, okay, girl from Instagram. Natalie, you're next, okay? Natalie, give me the first name and relationship. I'm talking to Lacey about Mama Opal. So uh, she's she's coming in real strong. And um, was the family kind? Was she like kind of in charge of the family? And she was like all the moving pieces. She was she was kind of keeping everybody together. And things kind of are in a bit of a disarray since she left. Uh, let me know. All right, Natalie, I'm waiting on you. I've been waiting for you to show up, Natalie. I hope it's not the middle of the night where you're at. She was the glue, six kids, very stern, strong woman. Yeah, I, I, I felt like she was going to um, discipline me when she came in, like she was going to yell at me for something. <laughs> All right, Natalie, tell me the name of the person you want to talk to in the relationship. I think it's your grandma um, that you want to talk to. So what was her name? Um, yeah, Lacey, that's so... <laughs> the family needs to... Uh, so what she wants to say to your family... <laughs> some, She wants everybody to get it together and grow up. So I feel like there's parts of the family that's like everything settled down and then there's some parts that's like still uh, not really settled. Um, so let me, okay. And she basically raised all the grandkids. Okay, yeah, because she feels like there's some, there's some stuff happening that are, uh, that's not doing well. Yes, Peace 2021 is my coupon code, Scarlet, for... Booking a reading is 25% off. Yeah. Yes, Lacey. So all you can do is put up your boundaries and take care of you and, and what's happening with you and your own family. Um, you know, if you have kids and stuff. And everybody else, they just need to figure it out. All right, Nalini Arjun, grandma for Natalie. All right, Natalie's been waiting for this. Uh, she's super worried about your mom. So this is for Natalie. So everybody just hold on a minute. You can click likes if you want because I feel like there should be more people on here on a Friday night. Um, she's, she's, she feels like your mom has been, um, Suffering needlessly and suffering more than she should. So, so, um, there's a way for your mom to heal from this and recover from this. And she's saying to your mom, your grandmother saying to your mom who's living, she can, um, transfer 
the dependency that she had on her mother as far as support um, and, and honor her by being a support system for you. So that's what she's trying to tell me, Natalie. Um, she wants your mom to use her pain and suffering in a positive way and be there and build her relationship stronger with you and any other children she may have. Um, so she's safe and at peace and she crossed over and, and all spirits cross over and are fine and safe and in a, in a place that they cannot be harmed. So that's not a problem at all. Um, but she is worried about your mom a lot. Um, is she seeking some type of counseling? And I know that she's pretty private. Um, but she needs a support system. That's somebody outside of the family, somebody she can confide in that can give her guidance on her mourning. And so that's her message for you, Natalie. Let me know in capital letters if that makes sense. Okay. Scarlett, you have to give me the first name of the person in relationship. Um, I have to check my chicken. So everybody's going to come with me while I check my chicken real quick. Don't mind the lighting. It's not movie star lighting. I'll be back for readings in just a sec. But I don't want to burn my dinner. I'll be right there. I'm just checking the temperature. I don't want to undercook my chicken. Good, Natalie. I'm glad that makes sense. What should chicken be? 160? Something like that? Does anybody know? We lo I love you, Aunt Jen. I think it should be 160. Let's look at this one. I should do five more minutes. I'm going to do five more minutes on my chicken. I put it in the cast iron skillet. My husband got me into this cast iron. The only drawback is I'm uh, it hurts my arms to lift it in and out of the oven. So, all right. Back to readings. All right, let's see. Five minutes, 5.56. Aunt Jen, give me a five minute reminder if I forget, please. Everybody needs to follow Aunt Jen. All right. Yeah, those bad boys are heavy. I am waiting for Oh, 165. <laughs> That's what the 165 is. I forgot I even asked that question. It's been a long day. I'm moving. Okay, thanks, Natalie. I'm moving. I have company coming for 10 days. My son's coming to visit for the first time in six months. And it was just Thanksgiving, so I'm like crazed right now. Um, Natalie, before she died, she wanted to tell mom something. Can you say what it was? Unfortunately, Natalie, with all these people on here and connecting so many different spirits, I could tell you almost anything, but there's absolutely no way I could guarantee that that's accurate for you because I have too many people in here. Um, that would be something you would, you or your mom would need one-on-one -on -one time so we can only call in that person without having interference. And even at that rate, there's absolutely no guarantee that what I tell you would be accurate. Um, I would say most people in their last moments are talking about um, apologizing or accepting responsibility for things or telling them they love them or to take care of, you know, their own children, things like that. Um, something that if it was something significant or you're expecting, oh, the money's hidden in a box behind a wall at 3 Maple Street, that's something you would need 
more one-on-one -on -one time with. And I don't even know if a spirit would come through and say that. Um, that kind of stuff's important to humans, but not important to spirit. So most likely it's something um, like sending love and, and good wishes and things like that and apologies. So that's probably what that was. Okay. Um, JC Summer, Sister Lupe. Um, well, all right, JC, if you're still on here, I want you to give me a yes or no. Was Lupe a young woman? Not, um, she seems young and vibrant. Yes or no, young and vibrant Lupe. Tell me in caps if you're still on here. All right, Ashley, Daniela. Your mom, Diana, or your dad, Louie. Were they, um, I feel there was some type of separation between them before... Um, give me a yes or no. They were separate, like maybe divorced or living separately or something happened. Um, they, I feel like they were separated in some way, geographically, emotionally before they passed. So give me a yes or no parents separated or apart before passing in caps, please, Ashley. Okay. So I guess. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, and I, I'm sorry, JC. Um, I have the wrong person then. Yes, she was vibrant, I'm assuming. Yes, your dad's been gone. Melinda, of course. Your dad's been gone 13 years. Can he still send me signs? My mom has been gone since 1986, and she still sends me signs. I'll tell you. Uh, story. My husband and I, we live in an apartment complex and we have this pool outside. And I was going out there to um, put my towel down. I like to save my seat before other people come. And there, my mom sends me doves. And there's this dove sitting underneath the chair where my husband sits all the time. And it just sat there and like looked at me and like walked around for like five minutes and I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, it didn't fly away. I was sitting like three feet away from it. It just sat there. I just walked around under the chair, looping around and looping around and I sat on a chair next to it and I'm like, wow, it was really a powerful moment. So yes, they can send signs. Okay, Ashley, Daniela, yes, they were separated. I feel that, um, they were, um, there's a, they had a connection, but their dysfunction didn't allow them to uh, work it out. Did, so one crossed before the other, and I see that there's a lot of guilt on the, the other that they didn't um, get to, to there was maybe some stubbornness where they didn't get to um resolve things before the first passing does that make sense because they um i feel like there was some guilt left over because they didn't get to resolve oh five timer mint oh okay I gotta get my chicken. Yeah, I thought so. I felt feel like your dad was super guilty and had some stuff he wanted to apologize for, but really didn't get to. Let me know if that makes sense. I'm getting my chicken. I'm getting my chicken. Aunt Jen, do you wanna go live? Let me know. 
This is so weird. I'm trying with this chicken. It just uh, it won't go up over the temperature. Okay, yeah, um, Ashley Danielle. It seems like he had some unresolved stuff going on. That he was, uh, he felt super bad because he didn't get to apologize to her. Okay, just a second, JC. Uh, you're next. I'm going to JC Summer next about her sister. All right, we are done with the chicken. It's ready. All right, back to readings. Okay, all right, Aunt Jen. Um, yes, of course, Ashley, they're together. Um, because I, like I said earlier, they were, they had a special bond, but they couldn't get past the human dysfunction to make it work. So Sister Lupe, 60 years old, correct, died of cancer. Is that right, JC? I believe that's correct. Okay. Let me connect so everybody just be a little patient. If you want to click some likes, maybe some more people will come on here. I don't know what's going on. I used to have hundreds of people on my lives. Um, it's weird. All right. I'm hearing in my head something weird, JC. I'm hearing Lupe, Lupe, Lupe. Was there a Lupe song? Here, Lupe, I don't know of a Lupe song, but I'm hearing like her name three times. <clears throat> Lupe, Lupe, Lupe. Kind of like, um, and I'm seeing a scene where there's a big celebration in her honor. Oh, Black Friday shopping. I'm seeing where there's some type of, um, I almost see something. Oh, hi, Kathy. Oh, follow Kathy Barron's. She's the most wonderful medium. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, JC. I thought I was going crazy. I hear that. Lupe, Lupe, Lupe. And I he see these people like going in a circle with, I don't know if they're ribbons and there's fancy dresses on. Um, does that make sense? Because it's either that was for her when she was living or after she passed. And so she, we had a party for her. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. So she knows about all of that and um, she's showing me that and she appreciated that. Um, and it's just, wow, it's so wonderful. Um and she didn't like the cancer, which obviously that's kind of silly thing for me to say. Kathy, everybody find Kathy. Kathy Barron's medium. She's amazing and wonderful and calm like me. Very peaceful when she does her readings. Follow her, follow her, follow her. She's amazing. Um, okay. Okay, JC. Well, she, she sees everything. All right. Let's see what Scarlet. I love that party though. I can't stop thinking about that. Um, JC, tell me, was the Lupe 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 a song? Was that like something you guys made up or is that like a song? Because I keep hearing it in my head and I keep seeing these people dancing around in this huge party and bright, bright colors is what I'm seeing. Um, it's quite beautiful. You are welcome. Um, pasta with Buddha. Yeah, everyone who crosses over is at peace. Um, hearth witcher, witchery. 
your sister sees you um, very upset and understands, but she wants you to know she's there with you. Um, she said you can feel her. Can you feel her? Because she's showing that you can feel her around you. And Scarlet. Did, was there, um, Scarlet, was there a, um, was this a, a substance problem or something he would take responsibility for uh, with his passing? Um, give me Scarlet in capital letters. Say yes or no. He takes responsibility for his passing. Like, was it, did he do something to cause it is what I mean. Okay, Hearth Witchery gave me a yes. Okay, okay, good. I'm glad you can feel her. So that's her. She's just, um, she's just, um, she's surrounding you with love. And she wants you to know that she's there still. You're welcome, pasta with Buddha. With butter. Oh, I guess it's butter. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Scarlet, yes. Okay, so he's showing me taking responsibility for it. And he's sorry that he did that. Like, he didn't mean to hurt the people that are hurting because of his choices. And he feels... Um, he can he can recognize that he could have made different human choices now that does not harm just no no choice you make as a human and this was really hard for me to understand when i became a medium because people have harmed people um but even when you harm yourself you still go to the spirit world and you're at peace so anybody who has um, a, a mental illness, uh, unalives themselves, ODs, anything like that, they still cross over to the spirit world and they're still at peace. Their spirit is unharmed. So his essence still exists. He was an alcoholic and pills. Okay. I had a feeling it was substance. I'm so sorry. Oh, hearth. Witchery, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, Aunt Jen, I'll be right back for Cousin Lee. Um, Scarlet, just know that you are loved very much. You are loved. Um, there was somebody else I thought I was trying to answer something. Okay, J. Oh, oh, it was a song, the Lupe song. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, he does. Got yep, yep, yep. And keep keep understanding that, and keep and keep um, acknowledging that because it's true. My mother passed when I was fifteen, and I kind of always knew she was around way before I was a medium way 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 decades before for I just knew she was always there I couldn't explain it but yeah she's guided me into the life I have um so for Aunt Jen 003 everybody follow her if you want to see uh if you need meditation teaching life coaching all different kinds of classes and courses she offers and wonderful reminders cousin Lee Um, this is hard because I think I know some of this stuff already. It's hard for me to tell what I know and what I see from one another sometimes when I've already communicated with somebody prior. But was he a larger man, Aunt Jen? Was he a large man? Um, and this also, I feel some addiction around this as well. Can you give me a yes or no in caps? Shape of my heart, what about me? I'm 
Did you ask a question? Because I don't think I see all the questions. You're just saying, what about me? You need to give me a first name and a relationship. Yeah, you can talk to me anytime, Scarlett. Go on my website. You can actually, this is a 25% off coupon code. Peace2021 is the coupon code. I am Peaceful Nick the Medium. So if you book, um, you go on and you say book now, blah, blah, blah. And then over on the right side of the screen, it's kind I don't really like the way the website has it set up. Um, it's kind of small and gray and you have to click coupon code. You can't see it well. I didn't know that till earlier because this is my first time with a coupon code. But if you put Peace 2021 in there, it should take off 25%. If it doesn't work, email me. You can email me through my website and I'll take care of it. Okay, you're welcome, Hearth Richery. All right, let me see if Aunt Jen answered. He was bigger and addiction. You have not talked. I mean, but have I talked to you about it yet? I thought I, I don't remember. Um, okay. So I will just say that, all right, I'm talking to Aunt Jen right now about her cousin Lee. Um, there was some stuff going on in his body that the addiction was just amplifying. Did he have a heart attack? It's hard for me to remember what I know and what I am seeing. Um, I feel like his body was just like, bye, that's it for me. Um, does that make sense? Give me a yes or no for the heart attack. And did he have some other stuff already happening in there? No on, no on which part? You have a no and a yes. <laughs> which one's which? Yes. <laughs> His body just decided to stop. Is that the, what the yes is for? The problem is I don't know if, what order those yeses and nos come in. Okay. I'm just waiting on Aunt Jen to give me answer. Get yes or no on the heart attack. We have not talked about him. Oh, that's the no. So the yes was the heart attack and he had something else going on in his body. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Geographically, he lived far away from you, I believe. That's correct. And... Um, I don't think you'd seen him in a long time. I think that's also correct. I'm talking probably a decade or more. Um, and he was miserable and lived, a, he was miserable inside for a long time and didn't, uh, didn't like himself, didn't love himself. And now I'm seeing that he was picked on a lot prior and beat down emotionally by many people who should have loved him and he was sad he was real sad um like he I don't feel like he purposefully caused his passing but he didn't mind that he was passing at all and he was relieved because he couldn't did deal with it. He just couldn't deal with any of this stuff. And he just, he hated the feeling he had of not being loved. He felt unloved, just unloved. And it made, that's what caused his addiction problems and his, um, you know, I guess a food addiction, I would assume. Um, and, Probably alcohol at the least. Um, I'm so sorry, Aunt Jen, about your cousin. Um, Scarlett, you're very, very welcome. Um, and then I have, could you please tell me what actually happened to my dad, James W. Coleman, what he died of? Okay, so this is for Debbie. Um I normally don't do those specific answers on this type of group because it uh, 
when it's a mystery and you don't know and can't confirm it. I could be reading somebody else who's on here, the other spirits that I'm connecting with. So I can't guarantee that I'm going to give you accurate information because there's so many people on here. Um, and so many people trying to communicate. So I don't want to lead you astray. Um, have Debbie, has there been an autopsy report at all? Let me know if there are, there are any facts that you can verify with any of this. Um, if you don't know and nobody knows and you have no way of finding out, I really am reluctant to do that on a live like this. I'd be happy to book a reading with you or reach out to one of my medium friends. I have a group of re medium friends who do this type of stuff more specifically. Um, be happy to recommend. You can email me through my website and I could recommend somebody that may be better suited to do something that specific. I have a whole group of women um, we could bring you in for something like that. You're welcome, you're welcome. I don't know what some of these mean. Um, Dallas J, Dal I think Dallas J, can you connect with someone who passed three weeks ago? Um, sure, you can, if the, um, the problem isn't can the medium connect with the spirit if it's been soon. What we normally recommend is waiting three months uh, to connect with someone, especially if it's someone really close because say you lost your spouse three weeks ago, I mean, that would be something you'd be completely devastated over. And if you get a reading for someone who's that close to you, it could, it's unethical to really um, do a deep full reading because it might send you into a depression. And so mediums usually like to wait a while to do like a deep full reading just f to protect you more than anything. But it's been done. It's not, you know, it's not unheard of. Okay, Debbie, if you want me to recommend somebody, you can email me through my website. Um, I have a group of ladies we meet um, every week or two uh, and we have a circle and I'd be happy to ask them to invite you to that. Erica Lucero, you're due December 28th. Like, are you having a baby? Congratulations. I'm just reading through these. All right, I'm gonna pick one more that pops out at me. And um, and then I have to eat my din din. Okay, so Erica Lucero, since I already started with you, we're gonna finish. Um, my, she said, yes, thank you. I just want to know if my daddy will be there on that day. Okay, so our loved ones in spirit always, 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 always see the major events in our lives. And yes, your dad will be there. Are you honoring your baby with a part of his name, initial, middle name, something like that? Um, or is there already somebody named for him in the family? Because he's talking about the name. Um, an initial something, Erica. Give me a yes or no on the name. Um, and of course he'll be there. And were you his little girl? Like you were, um, do you have a sister? Does he have another daughter? Yes. Lucero is, was that your dad's name? Okay, I'm just waiting for her to answer. All 
Um, while I'm waiting for the comments to load, because you know how lives go. They load whenever they feel like it. Um, Peace 2021 is the coupon code, 25% off all readings and services. Um, you have to kind of search for the coupon code part. I don't know why it does that. It's on the right side of the screen when you go to book and you pick your date and then it says enter coupon code. You kind of have to look for it. All right, Erica, I haven't seen any of your answers since then. Um, but just know if you're still on here, if you've typed anything else, um, I haven't seen it yet. Just know your dad will be there when your baby's born. And um, now I'm seeing a little uh, trinket. Oh, Benny Lucero, all my kids have Lucero. My son is Benjamin. Okay, so that, all right. Okay, all right, yeah, he's talking about the name. Okay, so I feel like there's a, is there a toy or a trinket or something? Something's happening. I don't know if it's being moved or making a noise or turning on and off when it's not supposed to. Hi, Iris the virus, thank you. That's very sweet. Um, so Erica, is there some kind of toy that something weird is happening to or a trinket or a toy or a light, something kind of small? that's doing something weird in the house because I feel like your dad's like sending flashes to it or something. Let me know. So <clears throat> while I wait for her last answer, whoa, that is a cool party looking thing. That's wonderful. Thank you for that. Um, I'm donating 10% of all my proceeds between October 1st and December 15th to charity for families in need. Um, this is my coupon code for 25% off for all my services on my website. And I'm just waiting for this last comment to load from Erica Lucero. I want to thank everyone for joining me. I want to wish you all, um, a healthy, emotionally healthy holiday be sure to tell, uh, put up boundaries with people in your family. You don't have to go be around people who you don't feel comfortable with. And I'm sending you all love and healing. Okay, Erica. All right, so pay attention. You might see um, a little light flickering or a toy. doing Something's happening somewhere. He's sending something through some little trinket. I can't really make out what it is. Um, so just pay attention to that. Yes, the Dallas spirits will be around. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful holiday. I am moving this week, so I don't know when my next live will be. Um, and then I have company, so I'm going to do my best to get on lives. Um, thank you all for joining. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and um, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Good night. Bye everyone.